President Obama speaking yesterday on the economy as the shooting in Washington was still an active scene. The president did address the shooting at the top of his address, but um, then moved on to a more partisan topic, the budget battle. The problem is, uh, at the moment, Republicans in Congress don't seem to be focused on how to grow the economy and build the middle class. I say at the moment because I'm still hoping that uh, a light bulb goes off here. Well, that was about 12.30 Eastern time yesterday. Brett Baer with me now, anchor of Special Report. And uh, good morning to you, Brett. 12.30, this, this situation was far from resolved. How did the White House explain why it considered to take perhaps that approach at that time? Or did it even consider rescheduling or even canceling altogether? Short answer to the last question, Bill, is no. Uh, Jay Carney at the press briefing yesterday was asked specifically, did they consider rescheduling this, this speech? And he said no, in a word. He said, yes, the events were unfolding, and the president addressed it at the top of the speech. But he said, quote, time is short, and it's entirely appropriate for the president to address um, what he did in the way he did. Mm. So that was the defense, uh, basically the defense of walking and chewing gum at the same time. But uh, there's a lot of criticism, obviously, across the board about tonally uh, how that sat yesterday. Yeah, people writing about that today, about whether it's tone deaf. Uh, watching your panel last night, this is how Charles Krauthammer looked at that. Listen. The president in that speech was back to hyper-partisan mode, slashing attack on Republicans at one point. He was speaking of the Republicans. He said, and, you know, and some of them are decent, which is quite a remarkable thing for a president to say if you expect any cooperation. And to do this uh, within minutes of 13 naval employees, brave Americans lying dead, I thought was an extremely bad taste. He could have waited until tomorrow. Well, tomorrow is today now, Brett. I mean, these battles are going to go on for, for a while now with regard to the budget. It was just an interesting choice, yeah. Bill. It really was. Um, 12 16 p.m., the D.C. police chief uh, gets out there and says there may be two additional shooters and that a manhunt is underway looking for these people. 17 minutes later, the president speaks. He addresses it at the top, but then, as you mentioned, goes into this attack on uh, the GOP 11 times directly referencing Republicans. That was only 2.2 miles away from where the D.C. police chief had just said this manhunt was ongoing. And in those 2.2 miles, there were schools locked down and daycare centers locked down, government office buildings increasing security. Uh, it just seemed to lose sense of everything around Washington uh, as the president was speaking. Yeah, was the White House thinks this choice. is a, yeah. Yeah, the White I House mean, thinks this is a moment that they need to get on the board. Uh, not a lot of people, I don't think, were listening. Yeah, I, I heard you make that comment last night, too, that they wanted to be on the record. But, I mean, today is as good as yesterday, you could argue. Yeah, I mean, th this, was, this was your backyard. These were government workers who were victims. I, I mean, the, ultimately, the president has the call to say, hey, listen, let's postpone this. Either that or he's getting really bad advice yeah. because people on the I left mean, are saying he's tone deaf. You look at the last two big events, uh, the Newtown shooting, uh, the, the Boston bombing, uh, the remarks had to do with coming together as a country uh, in unity. Uh, he has played the role of consoler in chief very well before in speeches after these horrific events and tragedies. Uh, he did not choose to do that yesterday.